I'll tell you how to make your first project. Firstly, we need to understand the meaning of project management. In my opinion, it is a set of various tools that helps to realize a small initiative, a long project or a festival that can take a week. It's about the ways in which you can find a team, organize work, share specific tasks or even find funds for this project. So, during this video you will learn how you can implement your project through several stages. Finding a problem, answering the question what for, specifically ways to solve this problem. Also, you can understand how to find resources and allocate them accordingly. You will also learn about reporting from this video. Now we need to understand why a problem needs to be identified for each project. In my opinion, the project should tackle a certain problem, because this guarantees that there is a demand for this project. There is a request for its solution. For example, your classmates may know nothing about environmental issues, know nothing about sorting. This will be a relevant problem for you to work on. After all, you could or want to solve it. Tell them about it, attract their attention, or at least you will outline it. They will remember that it exists. This way, you find a problem and try to find a solution to it. Now we will try to answer the question, what for? So, we will try to choose a way to solve your problem. Each problem has several solutions. For example, attract attention, do some activities, change, reform or adjust it. You have to choose one or several of them. On the example of World Cleanup Day, we can answer this question as we draw people's attention to littering in Ukraine. The person puts on gloves, takes a package and together with other people learns about the correct management of waste. You can do the same with your project by answering the question, what for? For doing that, I recommend you choose a verb that you put at the beginning of the sentence. Then, say what you will do. Change attitudes, talk about something, report or reform something in your school. Now, we need to talk about the resources in your project that will be spent. This is a small list that you make to do something. For example, you want to tell people about sorting at a party. At the same time, you understand that there will be loud music and you need to do it carefully. So, you put a small sorting station in your head and try to go through everything you would need. For example, you may need several pairs of gloves, 10 garbage bags, 3 tanks. You have to print on colored film the inscriptions on these tanks. Plastic, paper. You have to give the volunteers certain markers that identify them as volunteers. You write all the tasks down. At this stage, you need to understand what you need to buy and what you already have. For example, tanks you can find at school, or somebody from family can help you to find them. Your classmate can print them out and you can stick it on the tank with a double-sided tape. Also, you can find gloves at home and buy packages in a regular store at a low price. In this way, you collect everything you need. You should try to understand how to use it rationally. This is how project management works in terms of resources. After you have gathered all the necessary resources and planned how you will work, I would like to draw your attention to the fact how exactly changes work. You have to understand that if you make a certain project that holds a week or even two, there will most likely be no significant changes. Then you need to prepare for the fact that the work should be fruitful and long. The fact is that people get used to some innovations for a long time, get used to the problems that need to be solved. It is your own classmates who perfectly understand that there is a problem with the environment, or know what it is, see overcrowded dumps. However, none of them wants to do anything with them. As a result, you have to teach them to make it a habit for them to sort at school. It means that every day they will understand that the tanks exist, that they can throw their garbage in them, blue color is for metal, yellow color is for plastic, and throw it away for a month or two. In the third month, they will get used to it. This will become familiar to them. When someone else tells them that there is no sorting system in their school, they will be surprised. Furthermore, it has been working at their school for a year and they are used to it. So, you should be prepared for long changes and for the results that you need to analyze somehow. It's about photos, pounds that you collect, 
Keep in mind that this is very necessary in terms of media, because the community will understand that you are doing something and it is productive. Take some pictures, think about what you have collected, you have to have results from this. Now, let's summarize what we could understand during this video. First, we found out why the problem is important for each project, why it should stand in front and at the center of your idea. Secondly, we figured out how to find a way to solve it. Thirdly, we were able to talk about the resources you will use to address it. The most important thing is how you will distribute them. Then, we talked to you about how you are going to do it and how you are going to monitor it. The meaning is to collect results. Lastly, I want to tell you a few different ways you can solve environmental problems. It is not necessary to do only sorting. You can collect things and craft something from them, paint them too. That is one of the principles of zero waste – recycling and reusing something. You can go to the second-hand stores with a class or remember at least the largest festival in Ukraine, Atlas Weekend. There, many volunteers help people to sort their garbage. That's why you can definitely put a few tanks and volunteers at your own party, and your party will be better. In fact, in each of your projects you can introduce sorting as one of the additional elements that will draw people's attention to the problem of waste. In this way, during the video you could understand how to find a problem for your project, how to find a solution for it, and how to look for it. We also talked to you about resources and how they can be found or distributed. We also talked to you about how to treat the project and understand that it must be long-lasting for the changes to work. We talked to you about the results, which must be measured because the community can react to something objective. For example, not a lot of garbage, but 10 kilograms. Not a large number of activists, but seven activists from a certain class. Good luck with your projects. I hope you will succeed.